Adidas has some bangers for 2023. I'm talking a full range of comfortable, affordable, and high-tech sneakers. So today, I'm counting down the very best. This is the top 10 Adidas sneakers for 2023. Starting at number 10, the Adidas Adifoam Superstar. Might be a little bit of a controversial start to this list. Look, as bizarre and crazy as this sneaker might seem, it's actually pretty solid. Now, I'm not gonna say that this pair of shoes is for everyone. Clearly, it's quite a polarizing silhouette. The niche that this pair of shoes fits in, which is the clog or slip-on, type of market where you find like Crocs, the Yeezy Foam Runner, etc. I think it fits in relatively well. It's actually pretty comfortable and the foam that they used on this pair is decently soft. It also comes in at a pretty affordable price tag for what it is. You get a foam pair of shoes with an insole to make it extra comfortable. Overall, if you've been looking around the foam sneaker market and you've been trying to make a decision, I think the Addy Foam Superstar is definitely worth a consideration. Coming in at number nine is the Adidas Osnova. Now, I actually substituted this pair of shoes in for the Oswe. The Oswego has been one of Adidas' most popular silhouettes, but the Osnova is kind of a more futuristic, more current version of that shoe. It carries on from the Oswego in a very similar vein, looking super futuristic, and it's also super comfortable and affordable. Let me tell you something, when I got this pair of shoes in hand, it felt like a pair of shoes that should cost a lot more than it actually does. This shoe is jam-packed full of value. It's got a lot of really solid materials and cushioning, and it's actually a really solid daily pair of shoes. There's a bunch of different colorways to choose from, and I think it's just an all over versatile pair of shoes. If you're looking for a sneaker within this category, I think this is a amazing option. Coming in at number eight is the Adidas NMD S1. When this pair of shoes released, it had a massive task on its hand, and that was to kind of be the next version of the incredibly popular Adidas NMD. And I think they nailed this pair of shoes perfectly to be the next generation of the NMD. It's got a full boost midsole, which makes it incredibly comfortable. I think the design looks super, super clean on foot. Even though this pair of shoes had an overwhelming amount of hype when it initially launched and has since kind of declined in that hype factor. I still think the design and comfort and practicality of this sneaker just speaks for itself. The best part about the NMD S1 in 2023 is that you can oftentimes find a lot of the really solid colorways on sale. In my opinion, that is a big W because this is one of the best Adidas sneakers that you can buy. Coming in at number seven on the list is a pair of shoes that I had a lot of doubts about, but when I actually tried it out, I was pleasantly surprised and that is the Adidas 4D Forward 2. Now, honestly, the first generation or the second generation could be at this number seven spot. There's not too much in it in order to differentiate the two. But what's most important about this pair of shoes is the midsole, and that's where you get Adidas's 3D printed technology, and this is an over-engineered running sneaker with a whole bunch of tech. My main issue with a lot of the Adidas 4D sneakers, their 3D printed range, was the fact that they weighed a lot, and because Adidas was targeting runners, it wasn't too practical as a running sneaker. But the Adidas 4D Forward solved that by becoming way lighter than all of the previous generations. It also became a lot more cushioned underfoot, so it actually felt good on foot and extremely comfortable. The only kind of drawbacks that I found about this pair of shoes was the price tag being quite pricey. This pair of shoes, in my opinion, is so much better than the older or first generation versions that it actually makes sense using this as a running shoe or just a daily casual shoe. All right, coming in at number six on the list is the Adidas ZX22 Boost. Some of these names are an absolute mouthful. I first got introduced to this pair of shoes when I made a video on a Yeezy sneaker comparison. I compared the ZX22 to the Yeezy 700 V1. And like a lot of Adidas sneakers, they have a lot of similarities. One thing they do not have in common though is the price tag. The ZX22 is one of Adidas's more affordable models. Considering it has a full boost midsole, that makes this pair of shoes incredible value. This is a pair of Adidas sneakers that I think appeals to so many people because it's such a good look pair of shoes. It's incredibly comfortable and it's also affordable. It comes in a plethora of different colorways. One of my favorites is the triple black option, but there's also a bunch of earth tones and even some of the louder ones. Coming in at number five is the Adidas Mr. Bailey Osmorphous. This has honestly been one of my favorite collaboration sneakers from Adidas here in 2023. The design of this pair of sneakers is obviously incredibly futuristic and it kind of looks like nothing else on the market. But actually the base sneaker that this design works off of is the Adidas Osnova. It has the exact same midsole so you get that incredible comfort that you find on that pair of sneakers. You're just getting a much more conceptual futuristic design with this pair of shoes. And the main drawback to this pair of shoes was the fact that it was so limited and honestly pretty hard to get your hands on. It only had a small release on the Adidas Confirmed app so it's definitely not a widely available pair of shoes. Honestly they're not reselling for a huge amount so if this is a pair of shoes that you liked the look of I can tell you I've been wearing it ever since I got it in and I cannot tell you how much I've been enjoying wearing 
wearing it around. All right, coming in at number four on the list is probably one of the most affordable sneakers that I think you get incredible value for, and that is the Adidas STLN. I'm not entirely sure what that acronym is for. Like I said, the main benefit of this pair of shoes is the fact that you can get it for such a low price, and the fact that the pair of shoes itself is actually really solid. And honestly, I don't like sneakers that are just cheap, and then you get them in hand and they feel cheap as well. I like shoes that are low in price, but also great in value. I think that's what this pair of shoes brings to the table. I think it looks super good, and it's also incredibly comfortable on foot. The retail price is already low on this pair of shoes, but you can also find it on sale for like 30 or 40 percent off, which just makes it ridiculously affordable. Honestly, I think this is one of the best sneakers that you can get for under a hundred dollars, so definitely one of the best Adidas sneakers that you can buy in 2023. All right, before we jump into that top three, guys, you know I gotta hit you with some honorable mentions, starting with the Adidas Orquetro. Adidas Orquetro is kind of Adidas's version of the retro running shoe that we've seen being so incredibly popular this year and last year. I will say that Adidas also released a 2.0 version of this pair of shoes, but I much prefer the original. So if you were comparing both of them, I'd probably opt for the original. Another pair of sneakers is an absolute classic and uh, has been like the top end of a lot of my previous Adidas top 10s, and that is the Forum Low. Now look, I'm not saying that the Forum Low is suddenly a terrible pair of sneakers. No, it's still one of the best Adidas shoes that you can buy. I just think with the amount of other options that Adidas has put out over the recent times, the uh, Forum Low is just kind of knocked off by a bunch of the other sneakers that we have on today's list. Then the last honorable mention is probably the most hyped on today's list, and that is the Adidas Samba. Adidas Samba is definitely one of the hottest shoes right now, and everybody wants to get their hands on this sneaker. Just based on a pair of shoes compared to the rest, based on comfort, materials, price point, and quality, I don't really think it makes the top 10. So just because it sells out now doesn't mean it's gonna be on my top 10. All right, let's get into this top three. Coming in in the third spot is the Adidas Addy 2000. Now, this is a pair of shoes that I originally tested out because it was super affordable. However, when I was wearing it around and I saw it on foot, I thought this pair of shoes is so incredibly good looking, it's affordable, and it's super comfortable. It is definitely one of the best Adidas models that you can buy right now. It's called the Addy 2000 because the design of it takes a lot of inspiration from sneakers of the 2000s era. I believe it mixes that Y2K era with DNA of basketball and skateboarding, and it's just kind of a mashup sneaker. I think what they came up with is an incredibly good looking and honestly great value pair of shoes. Coming in at number two is a freaking classic by now, and that is the Adidas Ultra Boost. Now, I left it pretty open-ended, and I didn't want to name a specific version because there is so many versions that honestly something is for everyone. What version you buy of the Ultra Boost really depends on what you're going to use it for, whether it is seriously running or whether it's just wearing it around casually to the gym or just for lifestyle. I think the three best versions of the Ultra Boost that you can get right now is the original, a lot of the 1.0 version. Something like the Ultra Boost 21 or 22 is my personal go-to because they are incredibly comfortable. I wear them around a lot more. And the brand new Adidas Ultra Boost Lite is great for runners. It is on the more pricey side because you're not really going to be able to find this pair on sale. Like I said, something for everyone. Just the Adidas Ultra Boost in general has some phenomenal options. It's one of the most comfortable sneakers that you can buy out there on the market. And then number one on my list is the Adidas Campus. That's right. I feel like we've just touched the surface of the Adidas Campus campus silhouette here in 2023, and I think we're going to see a lot more of it moving forward. Now, if you ask me what my personal favorite is, it's the Bad Bunny collaboration. I think they did that pair of shoes phenomenally well. And honestly, if you had a little bit of extra money and you wanted to spend about $200 on a pair of sneakers, I think this is one of the best pairs of shoes that you can buy right now. But if you wanted to save some of that money and opt for the just regular Adidas campus, I also think that that's an incredibly good looking pair of shoes on foot. It's a nice, chunky, skater style silhouette, kind of of like an SB Dunk with the fat padding around the ankle and the tongue. And some of those GR colorways look really, really good on foot. It's a classic silhouette, so it has that retro design. I think the materials on some of those GR versions are great. There you have it, guys. That is the 10 best Adidas sneakers that you can buy here in 2023. Listen, maybe your check's over stripes. Well, uh, my top 10 Nike sneakers for this year is right over there.